Chief of Space Operations General Chance Saltzman gave the keynote here this morning. He reflected back a bit on the Space Force's first five years and then talked about some upcoming milestones for the service. That includes uh, creating a greater presence in the combatant commands, uh, implementing a new force generation model, and standing up a new command called Space Futures Command. At the 2024 Warfare Symposium in February, I, out, I announced our intention to stand up a new institutional field command dedicated to force design. Space Futures Command will be responsible for ensuring our long-term technical advantage in space. Our plan is for Futures Command to incorporate three centers, working in tandem to forecast the future operating environment, define our services operational concepts, and ultimately document the objective force, the force we need for future success. General Saltzman said the command should be up and running by the end of this year or early next year. And the timing is somewhat dependent on uh, the outcome of mission analysis that the service is running now. The Space Force has established a, a task force that's running uh, tabletop exercises and crafting a plan for the future of the command. What we're talking about here is nothing less than re-baselining the way we identify, mature, and develop concepts that will shape the service for years to come. This is critical because there's so many things that we need to get right. So how do we take in new ideas? How do we test them? How do we align them with the art of the possible? Then resource them according to the science of the practical. Just last month, Task Force Futures completed a tabletop exercise to start answering these questions and more. Form must follow function. And the lessons we're learning will be built into our foundation from the outset, ensuring the robust force design is integrated into every aspect of a space force by design. Following his speech, uh, General Saltzman spoke with reporters here at the conference. Um, he uh, elaborated a bit on some of these topics and gave a sense of the Space Force's funding needs. Um, he couldn't talk much about the upcoming 2026 budget, but he said the service's top priorities are counter space and space domain awareness. Yeah, this is back to our transformational discussion and you know, the analogy about Fernand is this conversion from a merchant marine to U.S. Navy. And, and one of the kind of corollaries to that analogy is a perfectly modernized merchant marine is still not a U.S. Navy. And so when we say, this is to the question here, it's not just about making us better in the way we used to do business. There are new missions, a counter space mission to overcome the space enabled targeting that our adversaries have put in place. This kind of new mission is the key aspect of space superiority. New mission requires new resources, new funding. Uh, and so I, I don't I don't have a good answer for what those sources are, but you know, we've got eight hundred billion plus and we're gonna have to make the decisions about where we need to invest to make sure we can do all the missions effectively. Priorities that we have submitted, uh, you know, we're still early in the deliberation process, are counter space capabilities and the space domain awareness that, that underpins it. We have to understand what's going on in the domain to effectively employ counter space capabilities.